Hi there, in this video today we're going to see what happens when we put foreign discs into this Blu-ray player. So we're going to be putting numerous discs into the Blu-ray player just to see what happens. So here I've got a music CD, DVD and Blu-ray. Over there I've got Xbox Original, Xbox 360 and Xbox One game. Here I've got a Nintendo GameCube game, Nintendo Wii and a Wii U game. And here I've got PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 and also a PSP game. That's a PlayStation Portable game, the little UMD discs. So we're going to put them all in here and see what happens. Now I've also connected up a little USB adapter so I can plug in my PlayStation 2 DualShock 2 controller just to see if we get any response from any of the games. Now this Blu-ray player plays obviously Blu-rays and it also plays DVDs as well. So what I'm going to do to speed up the video is I'm just going to be fast forwarding through the loading screens just to see what happens on each of the discs. First of all just to make sure it's working we're going to be putting in a Blu-ray disc. Right okay so as you can see there that's working okay. Next we're going to try a music CD, that's Amy Winehouse. Okay, so music CDs work. Next we're going to try a DVD. Right, and as you can see, DVDs work as well. Now let's get onto the game discs and see what happens. So we're going to try original Xbox game. So this is Project Gotham Racing from the very first Xbox. Okay, so we've got the Xbox load screen anyway. But then it comes up with, this is an Xbox game disc, please put it in your Xbox to start playing, and says the same thing in other languages as well. Let's try an Xbox 360 game. This is Smackdown vs. Raw 2009. Right, so we had a little flash there of the Xbox 360 screen, but then it comes up with to play this disc, put it in an Xbox 360 console, and says the same thing in other languages. Right, let's try an Xbox One game. This is Minecraft. Okay, and it's come up with numerous folders there. Let's see if we can use the PlayStation controller to move around. All right, it doesn't work. I tried the Xbox controller earlier, that doesn't work either. So we have to use the Blu-ray remote control. All right, let's go down to Licenses. So we're under Folders, let's go to Licenses, and it says No Content, MXSC, Metadata, Package. Okay, so it looks like we've got some pictures here. Right, so we've got a Minecraft picture there, but when you play it, nothing happens. And now we've gone on to the second picture, so there's two of three. And now we've gone on to the third picture, but they're all the same. Looks like they're just different sizes. Right, let's go back, see if there's anything else. Music, no content, video, no content, and pictures. So they're the three pictures that we've seen earlier. Okay, so there's something on that, but you can't obviously play any games on it. Let's try the Nintendo games next. Right, we're going to try Nintendo GameCube. Now these are small discs. But if you have a look in the middle of the Blu-ray player here, it is ever so slightly smaller. There is a section here for smaller discs, so we're going to be playing WrestleMania. Okay, you can see it takes up a lot less space. Right, after a long time, it's come up with unknown disc. So the GameCube games doesn't do anything. Let's try Mario Kart for the Wii. Now 
Right, and again, it's come up with unknown disc down the bottom there. So you can't play Wii games. Let's try the Wii U. Right, it's a Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U. Right, straight away it's come up with unknown disc. So you can't play Wii U games. Right, let's try the PlayStation games now. We're going to start with a PlayStation 1 game, Gran Turismo. And it has come up with this menu here. Right, next we're going to be trying a PlayStation 2 game, Gran Turismo 4. Okay, so this has come up with a menu, but again, we can't move it with the DualShock 2 controller. So we have to use the Blu-ray remote control. All right, let's go down to pictures. It says no content, video, no content, music, no content. We've got a few folders here, IRX, no content, net, no content, Epson. And then we've got E1, no content, E2, J1. J2 no content, W1 and W2 no content, so there's nothing there. Let's try our PlayStation 3 game. This is Need for Speed Most Wanted. Right, again, it's come up with a menu. I can't use the DualShock 2 controller on it. Let's go down to pictures. Okay, so we've got some pictures there off Need for Speed. So let's have a look at them. So that's the first one. Let's just press play. That's the second one. And it's got the date up there, 13th of the 9th, 2012. That's the third one. That's the fourth one. And there's nothing on the fifth one. All right, let's get out of that. Let's go up to a video. Oh, we've got stuff on the video. Right, ps 3 logodotdat And it says there, unknown title. Right, it says unsupported video format, so we can't do anything there. Again, unsupported. Again, unsupported. Let's go up to music, no content and folders. PS3 game. Right, we've got a lot going on here. Unsupported. No content. AR. Feedback group, no content, no content. Streams. Right, so it's no content under all of it. Let's try a PlayStation 4 game. See if that brings up any menu. Right, so we're going to be trying Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, and it's brought up another menu here, so let's go down to pictures. Right, pictures, no content, video, no content, music, no content, folders. Right, PS4, it says update, and no content. App, no content. BD, no content, and license, no content. Okay, so there's nothing there to do on that one. Okay, so obviously PlayStation 4 games, there's nothing interesting on that. Lastly, let's try this PSP game. I'm not even sure if this is going to fit in because it's so small, but the case for it is broken anyway. So this is Jackass, the game. And what that is, is a tiny little disc in here, and the case is ever so slightly broken. So I'm just going to see if I can just get the game disc out. There we go. Okay, so that's the disc there. Let's see if we can get that in. No, that's just going to fall straight through. So if I put that in there, I'm going to end up losing that, because it's a smaller 
than the GameCube disc, so it's just going to fall straight through. Okay, so that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. 